Hi folks, this is your MWIS fleeting view looking into the weekend. Friday's chart first of all and low pressure is nearby just to the west with some frequent bursts of rain across many western regions throughout the day running in on strong to gale force at southwesterly winds. Those winds strongest across England and Wales and will tend to pick up as the day goes on. Lighter winds overall for a good part of the highlands and many northern and northwestern regions could well get away with a largely dry day toward the northwest coast the best chance for some cloud breaks. Some bursts of rain though across more central southwestern parts of the highlands, some snow falling on the Munros, typically on higher ground above around a thousand metres. Some of those uh, areas of rain and showers just pushing further north through the highlands during the day and they'll be frequent all day really across most of western England and Wales. A rather mixed or unsettled story heading into the weekend itself with Atlantic frontal systems coming in from the southwest. We'll have some remnants of previous rain and hill snow just pushing across the highlands too overnight. That's uh, tending to fade up to dawn but still could be giving some local patchy rain and snow flurries. The freezing level at around 1200 metres across the highlands. So upland terrain still frozen or partly frozen. Some gradual thawing of the lying snow up to around mid elevations that thaw will be more rapid so becoming quite wet underfoot especially with some further rain falling the risk of some flooding too as heavier rain sets in across central southern scotland into the middle of the day Rain also sweeping eastwards across England and Wales in the morning, some brighter skies and then showers following from the west, but a windy day through England and Wales, gale force across the tops for a good part of the daytime. Lighter winds through Scotland with uh, some varied cloud bases, but covering many of the hills all day. Best chance for drier and brighter conditions further north across the highlands. Further to the south, you're likely to be pretty wet with extensive low cloud. That centre of low pressure will just circulate around, giving some further areas of rain and snow on the Munros as we head through the night into Sunday. And the next centre of low pressure is waiting to come in for Sunday daytime with some further rain and upland snow. Rain moves in across Wales before dawn and that will be pretty heavy here through the morning, setting in two for western parts of England and across into southwest Scotland. For the highlands, some areas of patchy rain and hill snow again in the morning will then turn maybe more persistent in southwestern parts, depending just how far north the frontal system goes. A bit of a messy story for Sunday daytime into the highlands. The dregs of previous rain and summit snow could just be that that freezing level tends to lower a bit during the daytime, down to maybe even 900 metres or so, at risk of some snow falling then a bit lower than that. Wind speeds relatively light for Scotland at the risk of strengthening those for England and Wales. Just need to watch the centre of low pressure over Ireland. That could swing in a bit quicker and bring the risk of gale force winds to the tops from southern Scotland, south into England and Wales. So a pretty messy, unsettled sort of story for this weekend overall. All your local details can be found on our website. That is your fleeting view. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.